What is up YouTube? BBT Ray here. Today we got a great short video for you. The A2000 versus the A5000. Besides the numbers, what's the difference? I'll let you know. All right. So first off for starters, the A2000 we're talking about is going to be the stock model A2000. It's not the shunt mode mod on the A2000, all right? So basically what that mod did was powered up the GPU a little more and just allowed it to have a little more hash rate. We do not have that GPU, mainly because we don't know the long-term effects for that yet. So to get right into it, the A2000, the total consumption of our one card rig was 96 to 110 watts. That was performing at 41 mega hash on Ethereum. Our settings for that were 1,000 on core, 3300 on the memory and 70 on the power limit for the a5000 our one card rig consumption was 267 watts to 271 watts now I'll remind you for the whole total consumption that means we had a motherboard a power supply the riser and the gpu it's not just what the gpu was running at for the a5000 we were getting 109 mega hash for ethereum our settings for that were 2300 on the core, 3700 on the memory, and 230 for the power limit. Now, besides the numbers, what's the difference between the GPUs? So, the, the A2000 is much smaller, and it only is powered by the riser. So, that means that there's no power cord connected to it. The A5000 is not powered by the riser and does have cords. What else is the difference? Well, there, there's a big difference in the price. The A2000... The price for a used GPU is $575. You can get it brand new for $695 to the, the $700 range. For the A5000, a brand new one is $2,500. The used A5000, you can probably get around the $1,800 range. It all depends on who you're buying it from and where you're buying it from. So you get what you pay for. So the A5000 is a lot more expensive, but you're also getting 109 mega hash. The A2000, cheaper, but you're only getting 41 mega hash. The efficiency on both of them are around the same. It really doesn't matter. It's more of preference and how much capital you're willing to put up in the start of your mining. For at-home miners, I totally suggest the A2000 because it takes up a lot of less space, a lot of less energy, and it's cheaper to start with. From there, you can build out your farm and maybe work up the way to an A5000 and different GPUs from there. So comment down below which GPU you guys would think you guys want and tell me why. On that note, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.